1980s, canaries were used in underground coal mines to test for carbon monoxide and methane gas, both of which can be extremely harmful to humans. Because the canary's lungs are so much smaller than that of our own, they are more sensitive to smaller amounts of these gases. Thus, when a canary died down in the coal mines, miners were aware of the increasing levels of these toxic gases and knew to get out. To understand how a lichen is like a canary, we must first understand what a lichen is. And for this, we went out and asked a local expert. It's, 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 straight, it's fairly straightforward for them because what a lichen is is a fungus that's discovered agriculture. That's one way of looking at it. So the fungus has actually got the algae and what it has to do is it creates this farm and the algae has to be put just in the right position to get enough light to, uh, you know, so that it can photosynthesize it and to, it has to be able to get given enough moisture when it needs, it needs to dry out when it needs to dry out. So, so it, everything about the lichen has to do with what the alga needs in order to, to, to grow and, and reproduce itself and, and therefore maintain the, maintain the fungus. Lichens are the extremists. They're, they live in places where nothing else can live. They do this by, by a lifestyle that, that, that nothing else kind of fits in. Where nothing else can grow, that's where the lichens grow because they have they've evolved this ability to feed off the air, the wind, the, you know, what's in the air, um, moisture, the dew and so forth, um, and to, to, live, to live successfully. Bioindicators, bio meaning living, and indicator meaning something that points to or shows a relationship, are simple measures that tell us what is happening in the environment. Since the environment is very complex, indicators provide a more practical way to track the state of the environment. Plants, animals, and more specifically lichen bioindicators can tell us about the cumulative effects of different pollutants in the ecosystem. How is lichen used as a bioindicator? Since lichens lack roots and the cuticle, which is the outer wax layer, they absorb nutrients directly from the atmosphere. This trait makes lichens effective as indicators of air pollution and other industrial contamination because the accumulation of contaminants in the thallus, the vegetative body of lichens, has shown to correlate the levels of contaminants in the surrounding environment. So wherever lichens can grow, they do grow. I don't mean on every single twig, on every, but regionally, if a lichen can get established there, it's already gotten established there. Then, like most things, where you say, well, you can't say much about the absence. You can only say something about the presence. With lichens, it's not that way. If they can be there, they will be there. If they're not there, it's because something is wrong. And that's what, what biomonitoring is all about. So how is lichen like a canary? Both species possess qualities which make them valuable in the role of environmental indicators. Research consistently support the hypothesis that lichens, like canaries, are sensitive to environmental contaminants, which in some cases could have adverse effects to living organisms, including human beings. Mm -hmm.